Hi, everyone. I'm incredibly excited to be here today to tell you about how you can accelerate your software development with the Google Cloud Marketplace. We all know that speed in business is one of the key defining factors of success, and it's especially true for software products and services. Companies that are able to react nimbly to customer needs bring solutions to market quicker and rapidly iterate on their solutions can leapfrog others who are not able to maintain the same velocity. I am Dennis Morantsov, and I'm a product manager on the Google Cloud Marketplace. I'm here to tell you how the Google Cloud Marketplace can help you move faster. Here's what we'll cover today. We will start with discussing recent industry trends in software buying and how the Google Cloud Marketplace facilitates these trends. We'll review what Marketplace offers, take a look at the short demo of using the Marketplace to deploy VM and SaaS solutions, and touch on the recent launches that may be of interest to you. And we will wrap up with key takeaways. Let's get started. Over the last 20 years, we have observed two massive shifts. First, Internet has facilitated an incredible transformation of how first the consumers and then businesses bought and sold products and services. Then, on the backbone of the Internet, the cloud has further enabled a rapid digital transformation of how businesses are run and how they build their products and services. On top of all that, these developments also unlocked brand new categories of software that we see today with software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure of the service gaining rapid momentum. In summary, we are witnessing a rapid transformation of the types of software products and services available to us and also how they are delivered. For the cloud buyer like you, these trends have dramatically altered your expectations, and these expectations are evolving. Teams are asking to get new tools in their hands quicker, enable them to start innovating with minimum frictions. This need has further accelerated post-pandemic. We're also uh, hearing you asking for simplicity, one-stop destinations, that enable you to complete all your solutions and data procurement tasks, while at the same time respecting your governance and compliance needs. As a result, we see integrated cloud marketplaces experiences explosive growth with more deals moving online and counting towards customer spend commits via marketplace transactions. And the data supports this trend. In 2021, a survey of buyers indicated that over 60% purchased software through one of the cloud marketplaces. And over 80% were confident that they will purchase via the marketplaces in the future. This is a dramatic shift for enterprise buying. So what is the Google Cloud Marketplace? It's an app store for cloud buying a modern catalog and buying platform offering a diverse selection of security, database, networking, analytics, and more. We offer features that enable every step of your buying lifecycle, from discovery to purchase, and from purchase to management and governance. And it all comes with the benefit of a single Google Cloud bill and an advantage of counting your spend towards your pre-negotiated Google Cloud commitments. Our marketplace features a diverse catalog with over 2,500 listings that continues to expand rapidly. Here are a few popular partners in various verticals that offer their solutions on our marketplace. I'm sure a lot of these names are very familiar. Our vision for the marketplace is to become 
the primary online distribution platform for Google, Google Cloud buyers and partners. We believe in a consistent experience for you to pick from first party or third party solution that exactly meets your needs. So our goal is to be the world's most open marketplace, offering transparency and customer choice that allow you to make the best decision. We also believe that consumerization of IT buying will continue with new self-service capabilities, simplifying business inner workings, reducing friction, and allowing your teams to unblock innovation faster. Our data support this. Just over the last 12 months, we have seen a threefold increase in transaction value with six times more organizations spending at least $1 million via the marketplace. And we're also hearing anecdotal evidence of meaningful improvements in time to close the deal via the marketplace with our partners. Next, I wanted to go over features available to you. As I mentioned before, the Google Cloud Marketplace supports the entire software buying lifecycle. We enable discovery, evaluation, and trial of solution via the storefront. We provide a powerful set of tools for you, the customers, and our partners to facilitate standard or customized deal flows. Last, we enable you to set up, manage, and govern your solutions. Let's zoom in on part two, procurement. There are three ways that you can buy depending on your role within an organization. If you have billing account permissions and a solution is available with self-serve plans, you can buy it right from the marketplace, marketplace storefront. If you need to negotiate a custom deal, frequently known as a private offer, you can kick off that process from the storefront as well. Lastly, if your organization has governance controls in place, as an engineer, you can raise a request for procurement for a specific solution. I wanted to run through a quick demo of how easy it is to buy software from the Google Cloud Marketplace. There are three ways to navigate to the Google Cloud Marketplace. If I'm not logged into the Google Cloud console already, I can access the Marketplace homepage by typing cloud.google.com slash marketplace and navigate to the marketplace from this landing page. If I'm on a console already, I can find the marketplace through a left navigation. One great thing is about left nav is that I can customize it to my needs. In this case, I pinned marketplace and compute engine to the top of my left nav because I access these most frequently. The third way you can access the marketplace is from the context you're working in. For example, if I'm in the compute engine and I'm looking for VMs I can deploy into my instance, I can find the marketplace right here at the bottom of the menu. And by clicking on it, I'm opening what we call a Cameo. A Cameo is an in-context experience that allows you to see the solutions relevant to that context without losing the context. So in this case, I'm seeing virtual machines relevant to the compute engine that can deploy directly into my compute engine. Let's go back to the Google Cloud Marketplace homepage through the left nav. There's a variety of ways you can browse our catalog. If you know exactly what you're looking for, you can use this search bar. If you don't know what you're looking for and simply want to explore, you can use our homepage and look at the shelves. We have a number of different uh, solutions here listed uh, these are popular solution in, solutions in each individual category that you can explore. As you go down, you see virtual machines, Google Cloud Platform, SaaS, operating systems, developer stacks, and so on and so forth. Let's imagine that I work for an e-commerce company that is experiencing rapid scaling. I have a loading, load balancing solution, but I need a new one because it no longer meets my needs. I'm going to look for it on the Google Cloud Marketplace. First, I'm going to look in the networking category. So I'm going to go to the shelf and narrow my search to the networking solutions. I will further narrow my search by look, only looking at virtual machines. Among these 200 results, I want to find load balancing solutions. I'm going to use a search bar for that. Um, 
I have 60 results, so let's look through them. The first one looks interesting. I'm going to navigate to its detail page. On the detail page, you can find all the information that we have for a particular solution. It includes the overview of the solution, which in this case has some technical details that will be interesting to me. If I scroll down a little bit more, I can see the pricing. In this case, it looks like one instance of this VM will run me about $50 a month. As I scroll down further, I can find tutorials, documentation, support, and terms of service that I'll need to accept if I went to deploy this VM into my cluster. Let's imagine I'm satisfied. I like this. I want to give it a try. I will simply uh, go directly and click Launch. This takes me to a deployment manager. Uh, in this configurator, you can, you can f define what uh, instance type, the, the machine type you want this VM to deploy to and some other technical characteristics. Again, look at the costs of what it will run you to deploy to a specific availability zone, which you can define here as well, and then click Deploy. Once we do so, it takes us to the Deployment Manager, where you can monitor the status of our deployment and start configuring it further. And this is how easy it is for you to deploy a VM from the Google Cloud Marketplace right into your uh, account. One thing I wanted to also note, a lot of VM solutions are available for free trials. And we have a lot of uh, open source VM images as well on the Google Cloud Marketplace that are available completely for free. All you have to do is pay for the uh, infrastructure spend on which these VMs are run. Let me show you how to find those. I'll go back to the Cloud Marketplace homepage and use the price filter to find all free trial solutions we offer. Here they are. And you can, you can find them by this little tag that is in the product card uh, that indicates that oh, that free trial is in fact available to you. Now let's change the tag here. Uh, let's imagine that I need to find uh, a business monitoring solution, a very specific uh, use case for my growing retail business. Through research, I identified one of such solutions being offered by Splunk. Um, so I'm going to look for it on a Google Cloud Marketplace. Once I search for it, I look through results and identify the solution I'm interested in. Splunk for retail with Google Cloud Platform. Now, one, different, uh, one difference that you will see here on the detail page of this solution is that unlike the VM we just procured, you can't procure it immediately. You need to uh, contact sales. And the reason for that is a lot of these SaaS solutions are highly customizable and tailored to your needs. And so what you would do in this case is you would click contact sales, fill out a form, uh, define your information and a type of request that you would like to send to the partner. In this case, depending how far you are in the conversation with them, you can ask for a custom quote, for example. Uh, once this email goes out, the partner will reach back to you, will talk to you about your need, you will negotiate custom terms and pricing, and the partner will go into their marketplace partner portal, fill that information out, and create your discount, and send you an URL that you can accept. Once you accept that, that solution is deployed, and you can start using it in your account. Next, I'm going to show you how you can see all solutions that are available to you at any particular point of time. When you go to your Marketplace homepage and click on your products, you will see all such solutions listed, including the Nginx VM that just, we just deployed a second ago and all other SaaS solutions and VMs that have been procured and are available for you to use. Last but not least, you can also track the costs that are incurred by the products you use, procure through the Google Cloud Marketplace. To do so, you go back to the Marketplace homepage and click your orders. This enables you to see the SaaS solutions that you are subscribed to with their respective plan information. And if you further need to look at what the monthly costs that these solutions incur, you go to your billing console. And the billing console integrates uh, SaaS solutions on a monthly basis for you to uh, understand the costs. In this case, in this particular case, I only have one SaaS solution that's incurring monthly costs and it's being reported to uh, since April to September. 
And hopefully this demonstrated to you how easy and convenient it is to purchase various type solutions through the Google Cloud Marketplace. Now back to the slides. Now that we've seen the core marketplace functionality, I'll cover highlights of what we recently launched. First, we're rapidly expanding procurement flexibility. Recently enabled reseller transactions and have already seen over 900 resellers transacting on the platform. We're also continuously investing in new pricing models and features that allow you to get better deals. Recent additions include flexible prepay installments and deal-specific license agreements. One of the areas I've demoed and I'm very excited about is our work to help streamline enterprise buying by helping you connect directly with sellers and remove the friction from custom deals. The recent launch that enables you to request a demo or a private offer is the first launch in the series of many that we have plans for in this space. The last area I wanted to highlight is our investment into enterprise governance. Governance helps establish the right approval workflows and ensure compliance across your spend. This year, our customers are starting to use two new features. First, our new private marketplace. It allows your organizations to curate the marketplace catalog to only contain the approved SaaS or VM solutions that your teams can pick from. Second, for the solutions not on the private marketplace, organizations can enable request for procurement functionality that allows engineers like you to raise software requests for new solutions to your procurement managers directly from the marketplace storefront. Governance will continue to be an area where you will see more innovation coming from us. I want to summarize what we covered today. First, we are observing a rapid modernization of enterprise buying and marketplaces are leading the way. Second, the Google Cloud Marketplace makes software buying simpler and easier while respecting the needs for compliance and governance within your organizations. Third, we're rapidly launching new capabilities for both customers and partners, and we're just getting started. I invite you to explore the marketplace today. Last but not least, I wanted to recognize all the partners who are actively selling via the Google Cloud Marketplace. We are proud to be on this journey with you. And to those who are yet to join, we look forward to working with you. I wanted to thank you all for joining this session. I hope it encourages you to explore the marketplace more. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of a great Google Next content.